Okay, so this is the backyard. This is the back of the house. It's my son chopping down bamboo over there, but as you can see, it's pretty large. And what we want to do, we're going to take this existing shed right here, and we're going to move it over to this space right here. I've loosely marked out with these bricks here the footprint of the pad that'll be going in here. So that vegetation will get ripped out, a pad will get put down right here, and the shed will get moved. Uh, this is coming out, and once this is moved, this is what we imagine the site to be. This brick over here would be one corner of the foundation. All of this would need to get ripped out. Um, this is a stump right here. Um, it's pretty small. It's my foot for scale. So it's probably about, you know, maybe eight inches across at the top here. It's probably a lot bigger than that underneath. Um, so I, I'm assuming that would have to get pulled out before the foundation went in, or at least ground down. This would be the other corner. Um, so that's kind of the amount of space. Imagine that this is gone, and there is a cinder block foundation here. Um, that can just get thrown in a corner somewhere, and we'll probably try and recycle it for something out, outside, maybe a fire pit or a kitchen or something like that. Um, let's see if I can walk around here a little bit better. That's a good sign. So you can see it's just sort of undefined space and vegetation and um, I would imagine they would just bulldoze the whole thing out and rip it out with the excavation. Um, which we may try and move that rose plant, but if we lose it, we're not too upset. All right, so. I think that's about it for the site. Um, I can always come back and take another video or pictures of something in more detail if you need it. Thanks.